Hello, I'm Sarah Black. And I'm Theo Black. And here is our review in under three minutes for The Shape of Water. No spoilers. The one in which a mute woman falls for a fish man. So I didn't like this movie. Just putting that out there, didn't care for this movie. Me neither. It's very pretty, lots of neat visuals, a little overlit in my imagination, but that's about the critique I'll give it there. Here's the problem. Okay. As far as the story goes, it is about as easy and lowest common denominator as you can get. It's a fairy tale, Theo. Don't care. <laughs> the people who are evil in the movie are evil because they abuse power and are bigots. The people who are good in the movie are good because they are oppressed and they are trying to save something that should is unjustly imprisoned. That's it. There's no depth of like, well, they're oppressed, but they're bad people, or they're e the evil guys are evil, but they have to be for a specific reason because they need to get a thing done. None of that. No one has a hard choice to make in this movie, except maybe one character. On top of that, there aren't really any consequences. There's one scene in particular, uh, Sally Hawkins' character is asking uh, her... Best friend. Like, hey, I need you to do this thing right now, and then and he, he, doesn't, he doesn't, and he comes back, and then he helps her, and it didn't matter that it he didn't... didn't change anything, you can change your mind and it doesn't matter. It effectively makes it so there are no consequences. There's there's a couple of scenes that, that seem really urgent. That's to me this movie, it, it has the appearance that something's going on. So the scenes seem really urgent, but when you think about it, they're not because every decision should have consequences, either good or bad. Yeah. But instead they just, the movie keeps going anyway. Yeah, they never really fail at what they're trying to do either. Usually there's some kind of failure or you hit the midpoint and something really bad happens, but basically they just sort of keep doing things and succeeding and that's it. No? Yeah, stuff kind of gets in the way for a few minutes. Yeah. But then they keep going anyway. Yeah. And it, it's a fairy tale, which for one thing I don't think is greatly suited to a two hour movie length, but also you're supposed to learn something in theory. Yeah. I don't know who learns what in this movie. No yeah. one learns anything. As as far as I'm aware, no, no one learns anything. <laughs> yep. I thought this movie was pretty, and I sort of enjoyed Michael Shannon and Sally Hawkins, so one pigeon? It's really pretty. One pigeon. Sarah, what is the shape of water? <laughs> it's very wet. <laughs> Subscribe.